Welcome or welcome back, I'm C-Square. In this example here, we're going to look to find the point that partition a segment AB in a ratio, in this case, 2 to 3. Most of the time, I'll suggest you to try to do a picture. Maybe it helps. So let's see in this case. You see, this is the point A, this is the point B. We want to partition this segment in a ratio 2 to 3. In other words, Partition this original segment AB in five pieces. And why five pieces? You're gonna see it. Why? And how are we gonna do that? Okay, we're gonna take a look to the X change and the Y change. You see this triangle here. And we can count one, two, three, four, five. This is five. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten, right? 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So that basically means I'm going to go 1 up, 2 right, get 1 point, 1 up, 2 right, another point, 1, 2, 1, 2. And now if you notice, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal segments, 5 pieces, right? Which and we have one, two, three, four points. One of these four points will be the point we're looking for. The one that partitioned the segment in two pieces. Two, three pieces. That's what he says. And starting from A, by the way. And that is this point, P. Which is, we look, two, two, two and three. Okay, this is a graphical way which sometimes works if the number are friendly. Let's take a look to an algebraic format. <clears throat> okay, so over here, xp equal xa. You always start with the first point in your directed segment, in this case a, plus m over m plus n. What are these two guys? These are m, these are n. Okay, times xb minus xa. Okay, so let's see what we get. xb equal xa is negative 2 plus right, this one. And m is 2 over 2 plus 3, which is 5. Then we have xb, which is 8. And xa, which is remember negative 2. Let's do the math here. Alright, 8 minus negative 2 is 10. 5 in goes in 10 2 times. So we end up here with negative 2 plus 2 times 2, 4. And that will be positive 2. Yeah, you remember that point? The point was right here. X is 2. The same we're going to do with y sub p, the y coordinate of uh, the point p, the partitioning point. That will be y a plus m over n plus m, and we have here y b minus y a. So, what do we get here? We get uh, 1 plus 2 over 5 and we get here 6 minus 1 so that will be 1 plus 2 over 5 times 5 5 by 5 cancel out get 1 plus 2 which is 3 yeah. you see now this 3 here so yeah the point P has the coordinates 2 and 3. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.